Hey guys, it's Christian at the Worship Outlet. Good to see you guys. We're going to be talking about how to make a great, versatile pad using the ES2 synthesizer native to Main Stage 3 and Logic Pro X. So, let's get started. As we go along here, feel free to pause the video um, and make these adjustments on your own computer um, so that you can have this great sound. So, I'm just adding the ES2 synthesizer to the input area on our channel strip and here we go let's turn this up to 12 turn a little bit of analog on let's bypass these while I'm thinking about it turn this down maybe 420 intensity we're going to bring that up to 30 um, resonance let's bring that up just a hair just to make it a little brighter. ADSR, bring this up about halfway, a little past halfway, all the way up and all the way down. Okay, so here's what we got. When we turn up this first cutoff here, the MMF cutoff, this is what it sounds like. Okay, sounds great. Let's add some reverb to it. Okay, I'm going to use the same reverb settings I use on the piano, but I'm just going to mix it differently. I'm going to switch the dry and the wet, but all the rest will be about the same. Okay, let's see how this sounds. EQ after the silver verb because the reverb is adding some frequencies that I don't necessarily love. So let's edit it real quick. Cut out some of that rumble, soften the high ends for when we turn up the cutoff. I'm going to bring this down and bring this down just a hair here. Let's open up the synthesizer and see how it sounds. There we go. That sounds really good. So now the last thing we want to do is um, map the cutoff to something on our screen. So I'm going to use the mod wheel. That's the most common thing. So you click the mod wheel. Go down to your channel strip here, ES2 synthesizer, mix and filter, and MMF cutoff. I like how it sounds right now, so I'll make that the saved value. And I want that to sound um, just like that when the mod wheel is all the way down. So I'm going to enter 0.414 for the range minimum to match the saved value. And then the range max will be one. So it'll open all the way up. Last thing you want to check is press the scale parameter right here and just click this symbol right here just to make sure. Sometimes it'll go a little wonky and it'll be something like that and things will not work the same. So just go ahead and click that top left one and it'll work perfectly for you. So let's try this. Perfect. Thanks guys, this has been creating a massive versatile synth pad in Main Stage 3 and Logic Pro X using the ES2 synthesizer. Like this video, subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use this kind of stuff, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.